Cindy. And today we are bringing you a hair tutorial. Well, you know, I'm going to use my hair for the tutorial, but we're both here. So, but the tutorial that we're going to do today is a hairstyle that you can do wet. I'm behind the scenes. Yes, mom is doing the behind the scenes work today. So we're going to bring you a tutorial that you can do on wet hair that will look good whenever you're done styling it wet and that will also look good once it dries. So, without further ado, gather all your hair to one side, whichever side, it doesn't matter, right or left, whichever you're more comfortable with. And I have bangs that have gotten fairly long, so I'm just going to like incorporate them into the braid. But if you have different style bangs, you can pull them out, anything like that. So, I'm going to start like this. You're going to grab your hair and you're going to part it in two sections. And what this is, it's a fishtail braid. But we're going to do something else with it. So you're going to do the traditional, get the two sections, and then take from the behind this section, put it over them both, and grab it over into this section. So you're going from behind this section, and then over both, and you're going to grab it with this other hand. So you're grabbing from behind. You're grabbing from behind so that you have a smooth fishtail over both, and you're going to grab it with your left hand. So you're grabbing from behind your left, pulling it over both, and holding it with your right. If you've never done this before, just take it slow and practice. It gets easier once you get used to it. So we're just going to keep going on as it goes, grows and goes and goes. The goal here is to get a nice, long, full fishtail braid, and then I'll show you what we're going to do with it next. As you go down, make sure that you're getting the sections from behind and not just getting like the same. That way you don't have any stragglers. I'll show you in a few, once I get down a couple layers. And you can make the sections that you're grabbing as big or as small as you want, depending on how much time you have. If you wanted a fairly poofy fishtail braid, you can grab like bigger sections if you're in a rush. Or you could be really meticulous and get little bitty sections. <laughs> so, but for now I'm just gonna do small sections. So you're grabbing it and you're putting it over. You're grabbing it from behind, putting it over and grabbing it with the sand. Grabbing from behind and then going over. It's like crisscrossing. Let us know in the comments down below if you like this tutorial. And if you'd like to see more wet hair tutorials, leave this video a thumbs up. I have several other wet hair tutorials that I could share with y'all that I do. Like, I fix my hair whenever it's wet. The added benefit of doing your hair wet without like blowing it, an added benefit of styling your hair like in an updo or something like that whenever it's wet instead of blowing it dry and then styling it is that you have all that moisture still in your hair from your conditioner. And then before I started this tutorial, I, I use It's a Tin and Cowboy Magic, and so I put those on my hair. And so doing this braid and then putting it up lets it that moisture just stay on your hair all day long until your hair has absorbed it, instead of just putting that on there and then like blow drying it all off with heat. So it's like a two-in-one. Saves time because you don't have to blow dry your hair, but it also is really healthy for your hair. So. I'm getting there. The goal for the braid, like lengthwise, is to get it long enough to where it'll run across like the back span of your head. Like from like here to here. Like the full length across your head. So I'll go a little bit longer. And don't worry about the ends. It doesn't have to go quite all the way to the bottom. Or if you have a little bit shorter hair, maybe you will need to take it all the way to the bottom, it just depends. So, do, 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 do. <laughs> fish tail braiding is meticulous and it takes a long time, but it's worth it. <laughs> it's pretty braid to do. It just takes longer than a traditional three strand braid. 
But if you think about it, it doesn't take as long as blowing your hair dry. <laughs> At least for me, it doesn't. Random tip, you should never brush through your hair with a brush whenever your hair is wet. So if you've given your hair a really good conditioning and then you put in a leave-in conditioner, your hair should be soft enough to be able to work your hands through even if it's not completely brushed out. You should still be able to do hairstyles with it like this. That way, you're, cause whenever your strands are wet, they're more prone to breakage if you're using plastic and going through them. So. You see my ends. Okay, something you have to be careful about is getting the ends. Like this is what I was talking about earlier. If you're not careful, you'll get a strand that'll get left out. So it'll just be like a little straggler. You got left out several times. So whenever you do get these, you can either just put them back in, which is what I'm going to do because I'm going to pin this up. Or if you're just doing a fishtail braid, you can go ahead and thread it through and tuck it to make it look like you didn't forget it. So we'll tuck it like this and just pull it through. And then you can incorporate it back in. And then if your braid flips, it won't look like you forgot it. So I'm going to call that good because I think that's plenty of span for me to work with. So I'm going to take my elastic and just elastic the ends, the end, the end of the braid. So I'm going to take that. I'm not going to go ahead and if I was just leaving it, I might wrap it a third time, but I'm not going to because you're going to need a little bit of give at the end of your braid to be able to make it look more full. So what we're going to do next is take the braid and you can start out at the bottom a little bit and you're just going to kind of gently pull it to expand it and make it look like it's a really full braid. So this will shorten like the length of your braid, but it will give it width. So, and if you have shorter hair and you don't have a whole lot of width to make, that's okay. This is still pretty even if you don't get to fan it out like a whole lot. I don't have a mirror in front of me, so I'm just going to work with it a little bit and then I'm going to use a mirror to look at it. But it's just kind of personal preference, however thick y'all want your brain to be. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure and subscribe so that you can stay up to date with us. We are going to be doing more hair tutorials and we'll also do makeup, makeup reviews and videos as well. So. That's getting pretty fluffy. Or full, however you want to say it. <laughs> yeah. So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take the end you're going to take bobby pins <laughs> and the end of your braid and you are going to if i can get bobby pins up <laughs> you're going to take a bobby pin and you're going to take the end of your braid and you're going to tuck it under like this you're going to pin it now I'm going to turn around because the rest of what we're going to do with this braid that we've created is going to be on the back of your head because you're taking this braid and you're going to make it look like you spent hours on it as an updo or something like that. So, and I don't have, a, I'll have to get a mirror, but so this is, you got your braid and you've pulled it around and put it against your head. And now you're going to take bobby pin and you're going to bobby pin your braid to your head like that. So what you're going to do with your bobby pins though is instead of just going straight down and through, you're going to open them up and take them behind. So you're, you're getting the, like the back section of your braid. That way the bobby pins aren't visible or aren't prominent at least.
puff that as you go. Just to get the desired look that you want. And the nice thing is, as it dries, it will become even more full. Because right now the hair is all wet and it's like compacted. Or maybe you're doing this hairstyle dry. I mean, you can totally do this hairstyle with your hair dry too. It's just one of my favorites, one of my go-tos for like a quick thing to do whenever my hair is wet. So I'm going to look at this in the mirror real quick. I'm going to get up do that. adjust it over here because this left side is a little bit wonky. There we go. So I have my bangs are like out over here so you can take this and curl it or you can leave it straight. And it's kind of it loops whenever you do that because you have like created it here but I mean I kind of like the way it does. If you don't like a loop on the side you can like you can take your bangs and you can pin them up. I've done that before. You take them and pin them up like this. Or you can just leave it looped. But I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. And let us know what you thought. Give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, remember, you are beautiful.